Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you my IKEA Duck Tig kitchen makeover. I bought this kitchen as a first birthday present for my little boy. I am a mum to a 15 month old and I am expecting baby number two any day now so I wanted to invest in a little kitchen and I was excited to give it a bit of a makeover. As you can see I've gone for a really neutral look just to fit in with the aesthetics of our, our own kitchen. I'm just going to show you what I did to achieve this look. It's very simple, I'm not that creative, so yeah, let's get into it. I did it when the kitchen wasn't actually put together. I did I spray painted all the pieces whilst they were unassembled and the first thing that I learned, I bought a primer spray paint and you can probably see when it's going on here, it wasn't really very good value for money. I wish that I'd have just gone in with the normal spray paint. Um, it was really bad quality, this, um, I can't remember the brand of it but it was a waste of money basically um, I thought that a primer would be important for wood when kids are playing with it but it wasn't very good at all so I just spray painted it with the primer to begin with bit of a fail should have just got in with the paint and then I did lots of coats of white spray paint whilst the kitchen was unassembled and then I used this Craig and Rose Artisan Chrome Coloured Spray Paint for all of the um, handles and tap. And this is a really beautiful uh, finish actually, I was really pleased with this one, I think this finishes it off really nicely and it's much nicer than the original IKEA colours, especially the tap. Um, this looks, this chrome colour looks really realistic, um, did take a few coats however I must say but this was really really nice I'd recommend this one and um, I love the way it looked with the white in the end when it's finished so I did quite a few coats of that then this is across another day um, I may add that I did this across probably a couple of months because I was impatient and I started it in the winter I should have just started it in the spring when the weather was better so this is me doing the worktop and I got this um, self adhesive sticky back stick on the worktop which has got this like wood grain effect um, and it's much nicer looking than the original Ikea like wood basically um, I will say I'm not an expert here I don't do the particularly the best job in the world I just used a chopping board to sort of try and smooth it out and as I said I didn't do the best job in the world but I still think it looks better than the original Ikea kitchen <laughs> So I just stuck that over the worktop and then I like cut some holes where the sink and the hob is supposed to go and just did a bad job of sticking it in basically but yeah still looks better than the Ikea one. Then after a few more spray painting coats, which I didn't actually film because it was really boring just putting white on white, um, I did cheat and my husband put the kitchen together for me um, because I'd have probably been there all week trying to assemble the kitchen and he did a good job of putting it up for me. And then the final touches that I did were just to add some stickers like where the microwave would go and like an oven sticker and that was basically the finished result and my son has been loving playing with it actually I'm really pleased um, I didn't know if it would be something that didn't get used but he's at the age where he loves 
getting into cupboards and everything like that so he's really got his money's worth out of it and yeah um, this is the finished result I'm really really happy with how it looks it fits in so nicely with the aesthetics of my kitchen and it just is a lot more sort of nicer looking than um, the way it comes without making it over basically um, so yeah this is the finished result really simple didn't cost too much and I just think that it looks really really nice so let me know in the comment section if you think this makeover is good um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again for another video bye